what's going on youtube it's your boy roman back at it again with another video and in today's video i'll be doing a continuation from the nerd axe gamma and doing the unboxing and setup of the nerd qx plus give the video a thumbs up subscribe and let's get started so what was left in the box from the previous video was the nerd qx plus unfortunately the box came damaged i don't know what happened in shipping hopefully it still works so this is the front of the box it's the side it says this box contains a nerd qx miner an open source project built on the foundation of bidax project but featuring four asic chips instead of one delivering around 2.4 terahash with an average power consumption of around 50 watts it also uses the same full color screen and graphical ui as the nerd axe offering enhanced and user-friendly experience. This package includes the Nerd QX board and a setup guide. Here's the back. Just shows you AxOS. It's bigger screen. It's powered by an ASIC chip. It does 12 watts at five volts. Easy to connect through Wi-Fi and it's an open source project. Showed you guys last time came with a stand and some screws and the power supply. It came with a European one as well, but I'm in Canada, so I got the Canadian one or the North American plug. So since the bottom's already mashed up, let me just open it from the bottom. Comes the little picture, poster. Full setup guide. Required time about five minutes. I can set up faster than that, so it's all good. There's the back side. Front, other side. So it's using the Lily Go screen from the Nerd Miner. It has four ASIC chips from the Ant Miner S21, and it does about 2.5 terahash. Again, I got it from a company called Bitronics. If you like, I can leave the link in the description or comment, and I'll send it to you. So I'm gonna just plug it in. Give me one second. So when you first plug it in, it's gonna fail to connect to the Wi-Fi because it's not connected to your Wi-Fi, it was connected to the previous owner's Wi-Fi or the person who built it for you. So once it fails, it'll give you a new Wi-Fi portal to connect to. There you go. So now it's telling me to connect to nerdax underscore 59DD. So I'm gonna get my laptop and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so after you connect to the Nerd QX Plus, it'll take you to a web page like this. And on the left side, you want to go down to settings. And you want to go to where it says Wi-Fi SSID, and you want to type in your Wi-Fi, your Wi-Fi's name. 
then at Wi-Fi password, you type in your, what it, whatever your Wi-Fi password is. Your stratum URL, whatever pool you're mining to. I'm currently mining to my Apollo 2 node. The stratum port for me is 333. Type in your Bitcoin address and your password. Frequency and core voltage is for over or underclocking. I'm just going to leave it as default the way I got it. You can flip the screen depending on how you want to have your miner set up. Automatic fan control, you can play around with that or you can leave it as manually or as manual. I'm going to just leave mine exactly how they sent it to me. You click save and you click restart. Your device will then restart and give you a brand new IP address. This says 192.168.1.96. So that's what I typed into my web browser up here, as you can see. And I'll take you right back to this page. Once you get onto this page, you can see your stats. You can see your hash rate, the shares, efficiency, and the best difficulty. Currently, this should do 2.5 tera hash. So I'm gonna just let it run and see if it hits that efficiency or if it's going to stay at 2.4. I see a lot of people with 2.3s, 2.4s, but it's advertised to do 2.5. It's submitting shares, so that's how you know it's working. If you have any problems, you go to system, show logs. So in case you need help, you can go into Open Source Miners United Discord, copy your logs, paste it, and I'm pretty sure someone can help you. This is my future bit, Apollo 2 Solo Mining Dashboard. Currently, I have just my miner running and this Nerd QX Plus. See so right here, it's connected a few seconds ago, submitting shares. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna just let the video play out for a bit and so you guys can see it if it reaches its max potential. I'll let it for I'll let the, the video play out for like another two minutes. So you guys are not too bored. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a simple unboxing and setup. I've done lots of these for the bit axis, so it's pretty much the same every time. But uh, if you stayed this long, I'd like to say thank you. I appreciate it. Please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe. And let me know what devices you have running and let me know what you plan on picking up in the future. And uh, yeah, let's talk BitAx, let's talk Bitcoin, let's talk whatever you wanna talk. That being said, thank you for watching. Have yourself a good day. Peace. Also guys, if, if you guys wanna know what swarm means on the left side, if you have uh, multiple bit axes, you can monitor, monitor them all at once. You just type in the IP address, like the one I showed you on the screen up here, and then it'll show you your, um, it'll show you all the bit axes that's on your network and you can monitor them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This InfluxDB is not important and settings.
I just showed you what your settings are for and your dashboard shows you all your information. It's a little off like this. Actually, no, it's perfect. 929. It, but it goes, this one goes a little faster, I think. The best difficulty on this miner was uh, 585,000, which is not which is not good. So that means that it, this was not mined on for a long time. The person just built it, tested it, saw it works, and put it out there. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So right now it's at 1.2 terahash. Anything over a thousand gigahash is, a ter is considered terahash. Come on, almost there.
I think it might be tapping out. It tapped out, it jumped, it, it bounced back to 2.2, it was at 2.3. Let's see if it's going to go back up. Nope, no tip. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video now, it's probably been about like over 15 minutes, so... The Nerd QX Plus, for me, I'm getting around 2.2, 2.3 terahash. Maybe if I do a little bit of overclocking, I can pull it to 2.5. But I'm okay with 2. Point, now it's at 2.3. So I'm okay with 2.3, you know? So if you stayed this long, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Please give the video a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. I do unboxing videos and I play video games. Live stream Grand Theft Auto and uh, Call of Duty. And I have more games coming, so yeah. Have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Peace.